Studio Series Bumblebee, the 100,750th version that they've created, um, has problems. One of which being it's not exactly accurate at all to the film's counterpart. Especially looking at the meter-long bit of car sticking off the back, which he didn't have in the movie. Apparently this is like the an early concept version of Bumblebee where they had like the wings sticking out the back like the Michael Bay version. I really don't like when Hasbro does that. When they release concept art versions rather than the versions we got in the film. That's still flickering. I, yeah, no. Um, rather than what we got in the film. And I would have loved to have gotten the Bumblebee we got in the film because I actually like that Bumblebee very much. This toy, however... Not that great. It's too small. I know he's shorter in the movie, but even still, this toy, in my mind, is still too small. Like, he should be maybe about that tall. Maybe up to, like, there. But yeah, it's too small. Wibbly joints, it's just like, this came like that. Um, wibbly joints, it doesn't stand up right a lot of times. These clunk into each other. Obviously, the junk on the back. The transformation is the most frustrating thing I've ever done in my life. It's a lot easier than Revenge of the Fallen Mixmaster. I know, because I had to figure that out without instructions. And it took a while, but it's still easier than this thing, because this thing still doesn't work. But, for those of you who have a copy of this toy that does work and don't like all of this on the back, here's how to take it off. Pretty easy. You'll need a pin removal tool of your choice. Again, I will try to link this particular one in the description because it's really good it's a lot better than the other one I've been using um, and pliers needle nose specifically so stop rolling around um, let's get him prepped so basically what you want to do is just start transforming him back into a car like just get all the kibble oriented properly it just makes it easier to get a grip on things now these are on uh, friction. They're friction joints, pretty simple to take off. They come off that way. So you take it and you pull it that way and it comes off. That's the way the nubs are facing. I would not recommend pulling it the other way because then you will you will shave off those nubs there. So let's just get that off. There you go. Door's gone. Now the roof. The roof section is a bit of a pain in the butt. You need to pop a pin out, and in the process, I put too much pressure on my toy, and I cracked it. So also removing the head uh, helps. So right here is the pin you're going to be removing. There's the serrated edge, so you want to push from that from that side where you see the crack there. Now I use this thing at full force. I don't recommend using this thing at full force. I would recommend maybe twisting it a couple half to a couple quarter turns out and that relieves the pressure on the joint and hopefully you won't crack it if you do crack it not my fault I warned you um, but I am sorry so just get the roof out of that there get your uh, punch centered up on God on that joint there and just push Now mine's already popped out because I've done this before, but yours will take a couple clicks. So I think it took like three or four clicks to get it out. But once you push it out, just grab your needle nose pliers. Hopefully the roof cooperates with you and just tug it off like that. There you go. Pin gone. Backpack gone. Now fold that hinge away, put the head back on. It looks so much better yes the wheels are still there they're on rivets you will break your toy trying to take that out these also on rivets you will break your toy if you try to take those out I know because I almost did pull the wheel off and tried to get in there and it just would not work but there you have studio series bumblebee that looks like the bumblebee from the film a lot well a lot more I mean he still has some junk on the back but it's a lot better looking than it was before. I feel like that that should have been what we got. I mean, it would not have been hard for them to take because there's a hinge here. There's an unnecessary hinge here. So this could have folded up like that. Or this could have collapsed on here. This could have then folded up. And then the windshield here could have collapsed down. And instead of sticking straight out, this could have folded. 
right? This could have been on a hinge. This could have been on a hinge here as well to fold it down like it does in the movie, and it would have got rid of the wings. It would have been much nicer. But whatever. We we got what we got. It is what it is. Concept art. Yay. Um, you can still transform this. I am not doing that on camera because that sucks. So I will get this guy into car mode and then I'll show you how to attach the other bits. So in case you're wondering what a convertible Volkswagen Beetle looks like. That's that's your that's your convertible uh, Volkswagen Beetle. Yeah, it looks it looks amazing. To, I'm just kidding. Um, Volkswagen Beetle. Anyways, the doors you can reattach them back on. I would recommend doing this before the transformation, but I'm an idiot, so you know, I'm putting them on now. Come on, get on. Yeah, don't do what I'm doing here. You will break the pegs off eventually. But yeah, there's the doors on. So just line all that up as you would normally. Just like so. Get in the spot. See what I mean about this toy being frustrating? So there you have a Volkswagen Beetle that just looked like it tried to drive under a, like a, a semi-truck's trailer and just went with the roof. Here's the roof. Um... So this just kind of plonks on top. Pretty simple, pretty easy. If your toy decides to work, unlike mine, which, you know, nothing is fitting together, as you see, but that's just an issue with some tab clearances. Nothing super major, I could fix it if I really felt like it, but I really don't because, as you saw at the beginning of this video, that's how much I care about this toy. Um... Aha, there we go. So, yeah, it, it works. It It's um, it's a Volkswagen Beetle. It works. Um, it takes a little bit of finesse and fiddling, but that's because mine's been modified to absolute hell. Um, but, yeah, there there you go. There's um, a very, very overexposed Bumblebee. Um, I would not recommend paying full price for this. It is not worth full price at all, just like this thing not worth also this is kind of broken and I, I will fix it eventually once I get a new one this one's broken there's like a, a a bit in the waist there that came off and the waist just kind of falls off now so but yeah it's just like this it's not worth the full price of admission I would recommend buying this on sale because that's what I did and I would highly recommend you do that too I paid $13 for that rather than the $30 Canadian price before tax which is ridiculous. But anyways, there's Bumblebee, yada, 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 yay. The movie was great. I would recommend seeing it. Also, if you hear that whirring noise in the background, the Xbox decided to update on its own. Anyways, yeah. Bye.